For our next proof, we're going to try to prove that if a squared is even, then a must be even. This should hopefully seem like it's kind of obvious, because the only way you can be even is by being a multiple of two. And if you weren't a multiple of two to begin with, you couldn't possibly be a multiple of two after you squared it, right? So by squaring, you shouldn't ever be able to just spontaneously create a multiple of two. However, if I tried to noodle my way through this by saying there exists a k such that a squared is equal to 2k, I then... How do I get back to a? I need to take a square root. Then we'll have the square root of two, which is not even a rational number, let alone an integer. We'll prove that later. But this is a bit of a nightmare. So what can we do? Thankfully, in that first video, I commented on different types of proof. So rather than trying to noodle our way through this, let's think about how we could rewrite the original statement. We're going to prove this by contrapositive. So the contrapositive of that statement, we'll write above it in red, Contra-positive. Remember that the opposite of P... Sorry. Remember that the contra-positive of an implication is you switch the hypothesis and the conclusion and negate both of them. So, I would have that A, if A is odd, then A squared is odd. You might be panicking going, wait, is even actually the opposite of odd? Yes, that is a complete classification. Some people, for some reason, were told at some point that, that zero might not be even or odd. That is completely false. Zero is an even number. It's two times zero. So the opposite of even is odd, just so we're clear there. I think people are sometimes confused this with it being neither positive nor negative. I'm not sure. But there's an entire Wikipedia page dedicated to the fact that zero is an even number. So uh, just to make sure that that's not a confusion we get. So now this looks like it might be more promising because now I can start with A and then square it afterwards. And squaring is easier for me to deal with. We've already dealt with such things in the past. So for my proof, usually when you do a proof by contrapositive, you make that claim at the start of the proof. We do it by contrapositive, or some other basic sentence to let the reader know that the proof you're going to be writing down is by contrapositive, so that they don't start the statement and then see that you're just talking about some other gibberish, right? So you're trying to make sure that the reader can follow your reasoning when you're writing a proof. So we're going to start by saying we do it by contrapositive, and I even wrote down the contrapositive for the readers so that when they look at my proof, they can see what I'm actually doing. So now, just like before, we're just starting with that red statement instead. I'm going to suppose that A is odd. So let A be an odd number. So there exists something, K, in the integers such that a is equal to 2 times k plus 1, just like we saw before. Odd numbers are 1 more than a multiple of 2. And now we're going to start working with a squared. Consider a squared is equal to 2k plus 1 quantity squared, which is equal to, we've squared very similar expressions in previous videos, so I'll do it a little faster here. This should be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And now I need to show that that's odd. To show that something is odd, I need to show that it is 1 more than a multiple of 2. So I need to do a little more algebra. I need to write this as twice something, 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. Therefore, it is 1 more than a multiple of 2, so it must be odd. So a squared is one more than a multiple of two. And thus must be odd. Must be odd. Notice we are not done with the original statement. 
we've proven the contrapositive. We still want to inform the reader that the result must be true. So I'm just going to remind them at the end, the result follows by contrapositive or some other basic comment to let the reader know that this isn't quite what you asked for, but it gets us the result that you wanted. So I've proven it by contrapositive here because it wasn't obvious how to prove it otherwise. And when I've done that, I still want to remind the reader as many times as necessary that it was done by contrapositive so that they understand why the thing that we did here proves what they originally asked for.